Hi, I'm Gray and this is Hub Guitar and today I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can attach your acoustic guitar strap to your acoustic guitar and uh, explore some of the different options. So let's check it out. First I want you to look at the butt end of your guitar here and see what you've got. Now if your guitar has electronics you most likely have a jack where you can insert an instrument cable and if you do have a jack you probably do not have an extra strap button to attach a strap. Normally you would actually attach the strap to the outside of that jack. Then you want to check all around your guitar if there are any other strap buttons that you can attach a strap to. I would say that 90% of acoustic guitars have something here on the butt end of the guitar and then nothing else. So then that becomes a problem. How do I attach my strap to my guitar when I only have one location to do it? So let's explore that a little bit. Basically you've got two options. You can buy one of these strap buttons, they're about five dollars, and then you can attach it to your guitar or preferably have an expert attach it to your guitar. That process involves drilling a small pilot hole and then screwing the strap button in. On a cheaper guitar I'll ordinarily do that right through the heel block here because that's a, a straight and flat plane. But of course on this guitar we've got this nice little a koa plating so we wouldn't want to wreck that so the builder went through at an angle here into the heel block uh, if you don't want to alter your guitar and attach one of those then you're only left with the option of tying the strap around the neck of the guitar so let's talk about that next another way that you can attach your strap to the neck of your guitar is you can use this little adapter here so it's just a little piece of leather with a button attached to it there are many of them available and they're not expensive i think they're only about five to ten bucks so you feed that underneath your strings of course i'm not making it look terribly easy but i assure you it's normally pretty easy once you get that under the strings you just button it like that and now you've got the strap securely attached to your guitar. And that's kind of nice because the shoelace can kind of twirl around and get in the way. And plus you've got to tie a permanent knot and untie it. So this just makes it a little bit easier. So another option for attaching your strap to your neck is to use this quick release system by Daddario. That's the same company that makes your strings. And so you take the long end of that and you do this, do this similar thing. You feed it underneath the guitar strings. Now, this is, um, it might take a second because it's going to bunch up a little bit. Once you get that in there, that's basically going to stay there because you've got the quick release system like a little seat belt. So you loop that through and then you feed the buckle through it like that and that stays secure. And then you do the same thing for your strap. And then when you want to take your strap off, you just undo this little seat belt mechanism. Of course, that would leave this little guy hanging off of the top of your guitar whenever you're not using a strap, so that's kind of the drawback. But the advantage is it's very quick and very easy to unbuckle that, so that's a pretty cool product. Alternately, if you are lucky enough to have a pin here that you can put your strap on, you just slide the hole of your strap over the pin and stick it in there. Now, most straps have a hole cut that's quite undersized because uh, you want to stretch it open to fit over the pin, right? You don't want it to be oversized and be very easy to fall off. However, I found that that's not really enough to keep the strap in place. So I like to use these little rubber grommets. Fender makes one of these. And uh, what you do is you stretch the rubber over the top of the pin there and that helps to secure the strap in place. It's actually pretty hard to pull it off once that rubber grommet's on there. So that's a quick and easy way to keep the strap from falling out. If you want the highest level of security you can use a strap lock system but that would require you to replace this pin with the pin that comes with the strap lock. So the strap lock is a really handy device that you, you thread and screw onto your strap and then once you've done that you can actually slide that right over the pin and it will lock in place and it will not come free until you pull the release mechanism. So that's probably the most secure way to attach a strap to a pin but again you've got to add hardware to your guitar which is probably not too hard to do if there's already a hole drilled there but uh, it's still, uh, it comes with a cost and uh, it, if you did attempt to do it yourself you might screw it up. So. And not everybody wants to go that route, and I find that with these other options, it's not usually necessary. All right, now that we've talked about how to attach the strap 
to the headstock of the guitar as well as how to attach it to a strap pin. Let's talk about attaching the strap to the jack coming out of your guitar because that's a little bit different than a strap pin. First of all, the jack is a little bit larger than a strap pin is going to be and uh, that has uh, its own set of problems which makes it kind of hard to put these little rubber grommets on because they're only really usually meant for the, the strap pin. So it's very hard to stretch one of these to get it to fit on the end of the jack. And it's kind of frustrating because it's, a, it's something that you might need to come out so that you can put the instrument cable in. So that's where this handy device comes in. This is called Strap Jack. And this is a handy dummy plug that you can stick right into your jack after you've put your strap on. And I find that that actually keeps my strap pretty secure. Hopefully there wouldn't be a lot of tension being put on at this point because you don't want to use your um, your jack in that way. Generally I find it doesn't really take much to keep the strap there. It's just something that prevents the strap from from falling off. So I've been using this a lot lately and I find that it's pretty helpful. Another thing you can use to attach uh, your strap to your jack is the Daddario Cinch Fit which has a little magnetic mechanism on it that helps it to lock into place. So that's another option if the strap jack doesn't work for you. All right, so hopefully by now you've got your strap securely attached to your acoustic guitar. And I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.